Hey, welcome to my studio. I hope you're having a great day. My name is Ryan Freeman, and today I'll be showing you how to install, save, and apply audio track presets in Logic Pro. I'll be installing my podcast voice processing preset pack, which is available on my website. It's ryanfreeman.com. So installing presets are actually pretty simple. It might seem like a little daunting just because you haven't done it yet, but don't worry, we'll have you up and running in no time. All right, let's get to it. So here we are, we're now looking at my podcast voice processing for Logic Pro. It also comes for GarageBand Audition and Audacity. So this folder here will come as a zipped folder. You will unzip it and this is what you will get. You'll get demos. You'll have instruction, detailed guide, walkthrough. You will have an image of kind of a folder guide of where to place your presets. So it's helpful. And this is the magic folder. We have male and female podcast presets. So what you want to do is just select the Ryan Freeman podcast voice. That's the folder that holds all of your presets. You'll want to open a new window. And I've already went ahead and laid out the kind of the track, the folder kind of guide here for where the presets will go. But what you'll want to do is find this Mac HD. Um, you can, you have the option of renaming it. So whatever you named it as, you want to go Macintosh HD. You want to go users. I'm Freeman House, whatever your username is. You'll want to go music audio music apps, channel strip settings, and go to track. We are installing an audio track preset. So this track folder is where you will want to be dropping your presets. Just click and drag the Ryan Freeman podcast voice presets into the track folder. And there you go. You have officially installed all the presets. Now you can open a new project in Logic. So I've already gone ahead and um, prepped this file. So I've put in a, a little audio sample for us to listen to, and I'll show you where you can find these track presets. This is an audio demo for Ryan Freeman's podcast voice processing presets, recorded on the Electro Voice RE20, the classic radio broadcast microphone. So this is my favorite podcasting microphone. And what you will see is this is a very important note. When you record your raw audio, you want to be coming in between minus 12 and minus 24 dB, that peak level there. So the loudest parts, the presets don't use any third party plug, will get just below minus 12. And so I've designed these presets to interact with your raw audio coming in between minus 12 to minus 24 dB. So if you follow that kind of rough guideline between minus 12 to minus 24, you will yield the best results for these processing presets. So this is how you find your saved presets and how you apply them. Click on your track, go into your settings, and there you will find it. Ryan Freeman podcast voice, male or female. And what I've done is broken into three different groups, low voice, mid voice, and high voice, depending on what kind of voice tone you have, and then three different intensities. So for me, I'd say I'm a bit of a mid voice, and I would say I like to do a medium intensity. So for medium is what I would actually recommend to where you start for most of these uh, presets for depending on your voice type. So definitely recommend just depending on your um, tone of voice. If you have a low voice, a mid voice or a high voice, I'd recommend starting on the medium setting. That's kind of like the sweet spot. That's what I would normally do. Um, so I've set those settings to be the type of processing that I normally do, once again, with raw audio coming in between minus 12 to minus 24 dB. But if you prefer something a little harder, a little more compressed, a little more EQ'd, you can simply just go to mail, mid. So really, it just depends on what kind of style you're looking for. I want to give you as many options as possible. So now that we've applied the preset that we want, let's just do a little before and after. This is before. This is an audio demo for Ryan Freeman's podcast voice processing presets, recorded on the Electro Voice RE20, the classic radio broadcast microphone. And after. This is an audio demo for Ryan Freeman's podcast voice processing presets, recorded on the Electro Voice RE20, 
the classic radio broadcast microphone. So what you're getting is that very beautiful kind of classic broadcast, professional podcast. And just to point out another feature of the presets that I have, say your raw audio volume does happen to be recorded, say like at minus six or minus three, something that's quite loud, or maybe it's just quite softer, like minus 30, minus 36. What I've done is included a gain plugin at the very beginning of all these processing chains. And I've included it off, but if you'd like to turn it on to just give your audio a little boost, or you might have to turn it down, like I said, to get in between that sweet spot between minus 12 and minus 24. And another thing that I know a lot of people like is to have a noise gate. So if you have a fairly noisy um, noise floor on your microphone or in your audio recording, maybe there's a fan going on or some sort of electrical hum in the background, I've included a noise gate if you'd like to have it on. I usually cut out all my audio or run a third party uh, noise reduction software on all of my audio, um, but I included that in there if you would like it. And that's it. I'll let you listen one last time, but have fun with these new presets that you've just installed. When purchased, a download link will be immediately available with install instructions and an install walkthrough video. With these presets, you will achieve award-winning sound in just a few clicks. All right, that's how you install Logic Pro presets. Pretty simple, right? If you have any comments or questions, just leave it down in the comments down below. Um, I'll do my best to reply to everyone. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It really helps me out. I have a lot of great content that will be coming out soon. Um, yeah, hope you have a great week.